Hey guys, it's Doc and I'm excited today because I get to create my grub killing video and my army worm killing video and the same broadcast because <laughs> I got a really cool product for you that I'm going to tell you about. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, this is kind of unique because I'm going to take this video and I'm going to split it off in two different directions here in a minute. I'm going to use some of the same footage for both the grub killing video and the army worm killing video. So depending on where you need to go, I'm going to have pages in the description down below. And this is very, very important. In the description down below, if you're watching a grub killing video, there'll be a description to a specific page, how to use this product for grubs. If you're watching the army worm video, there'll be a link to a page specifically how to use this for, for army worms. So understand what I'm trying to do here. If this is the same product, it's effective on both, which is unusual, uh, but I've got to break the video off in two different parts. So first, what is the product? I call it Duo Kill. There's a link to the product down below. It's one of the only products that actually is uh, over under. So it kills bugs on top of the surface and down below, which is very unusual very unusual to find a product that can do that effectively and kill grubs. What are the two chemicals used? Uh, bifenthrin is one of them, which you know is Talstar, and the other one is uh, Carbaryl, which is the old seven. Remember old seven? So if those two are the primary ingredients in this or chemicals in this, and uh, wonderful, wonderful products, and it's nice to be able to have them in this technology. Now, what's the technology? The technology is patented by Andersons and it's the DG technology. This DG technology means dispersible granule. Every single one of these tiny, tiny little pellets, once the water hits, it breaks down into thousands of other little particles. That's the key to this. It disperses. They kind of call it the liquid granular <laughs> because it's so, it gives you such good coverage. Using that DG technology, you got to understand there's a certain way that I like to apply it personally and I'm going to show you. So here's where I'm going to split off. I'm going to split off and I'm going to go I'm going to go grub one video, army worm one video and then we'll come back to hold on one second. So that you can better understand how these particles work and so you can sort of visualize what you're doing when you put them down. I've got some footage I shot yesterday in the garage where I take some of these particles, I put them in a bowl I wet it and I let it sit for about three minutes and then I come back and show you what happens to these particles. So uh, let me go to that footage real quick. All right, so let me try and explain to you how these DG particles work real quick. I'm just going to put some in a bowl, put a few of them in a bowl here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the particles get wet. So I'm just going to wet the particles. And as soon as the particles are wet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the water out. You can see that there's already chemicals being released from these wet particles. So the particles themselves will start to actually start to disintegrate. So I'm going to let this sit for about two minutes and then I'm going to come back. So I put my particles on my yard. I've wet them and I'm going to let them sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and what I like to do is respray them. So let me show you what happens. So now my particles have been sitting here for about four minutes. So now let's just add a touch of water here and you can see what happens. They basically just, <laughs> I say they explode, but they basically just dissolve. They dissolve into thousands and thousands of pieces within minutes. So here's what I like to do. I like to put it on my lawn and wet it and then wait a few minutes, five or 10 minutes, wait about 10 minutes and come back and respray it. And now you have this total coverage all over the ground. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you how I do this treatment for army worms because it's a little bit different than grubs. Army worms will hide sort of the upper layer of soil or in your thatch. That's kind of where they hide during the heat of the day. They're going to stay in the cool section of the ground. And then as the sun sets, they sort of come up and they eat the blades of grass. So they're not deep in the soil. They're right up top. So when I take this product and I put it out, I put it out, I wet it, and I leave it for about 20 minutes and then I come back with a hose and I actually walk around my yard and I just sort of put it on a big misting blast and just walk around and, and shoot it and it sort of sprays the particles. 
that's how I do it. You can also, but if you've got a rain coming, you can just put it out before a rain. The rain will disperse the chemical and it'll kill the armyworms. If you have an irrigation system, you can go ahead and you can put it out. Run your irrigation system for about five minutes. Uh, come back and then run it again for about another five or ten minutes and then you get a good distribution of the particles. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard when I do this, but I'll tell you this. If I have army worms, seeing the amount of damage that these army worms can do, I take my time and I do this treatment right because I want to just wipe them out. So I put it out. I run my irrigation system. I get it all wet. I even put it out sometimes early morning when there's a lot of dew on the ground because when the particles hit the dew, the particles get really wet and they start to actually fall apart from the dew on the ground. And then what I'll do is I'll come back with a hose and I'll put it on that blaster section and I'll just walk around just blasting that dew down with the particles and that'll kill it too. But uh, you don't want to water it down into the ground real, real heavy. That's not your goal when you're treating army worms. You want it on the upper layer so that when the army worms come through it, they're actually exposed to that and it'll just absolutely destroy them. And you'll have hundreds of dead army worms around. I had hundreds and hundreds in my pool. Remember, one of the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you a little trick about army worms too here real quick. One thing you can do is, is get a hose, walk around on that blaster thing that I'm showing you, and early morning when you have the sun start to hit a certain area of your yard and I do this like at, I've seen this like at eight o'clock in the morning nine o'clock in the morning and even at night walk around and just sort of spray your yard and if you see white moths or these bright light brown moths come out of your grass guess what those are armyworm moths and they're in there laying eggs that's what they're doing and that it last year if you I know some of you are laughing because you saw me I was driving me crazy I kept seeing these moths but they come, they, they migrate up, and uh, we've had a real mild winter. They're gonna be a huge problem this year. Man, once you hit, all of a sudden you're like, man, why do I have these brown patches over here? And then before you know it, a week later, that whole back section of yard is gone from army worms. So personally, I spend a lot of time, I spend a lot of money and a lot of effort to make my grass beautiful. I'm killing my army worms. Now, one thing I did wanna warn you about, uh, like Super Juice, Super Juice, real heavy demand for super juice this year and it actually sold out so when you click on the link on our website it shows when you get to Amazon it says currently unavailable well if you do that on this product come back to our website in a few days we'll maintain that manufacturer link for you and just check it usually takes if it sells out of stock it usually takes six to ten days to get it back in stock and I got a feeling that there are gonna be times this year where this stuff is just gonna sell out like crazy so just be prepared for it again the 18 pound bags are what I requested to put on Amazon because it's easy to ship and it's easy to store you can just throw it up on a shelf throw up a cabinet cut open uh, one 18 pound bag and use it as you need it 5,000 square feet for grubs 10,000 square feet for army worms per bag stuff is great stuff hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you later Doc